the dog Brandy go for a staycation. going away on a staycation which is staying in the UK but still having a holiday and we're going to a dog friendly place in Chester where we're visiting some friends. And packing for a dog friendly holiday can be just as difficult as packing with children. We've got all of her stuff in this little bag here as well as a special dog harness so she can travel safely in the car. See you on the route. at a lovely place in Market Drayton where Wendy had a chance to not only sit in the bar but they filled up her, her bowls and water and we've all had a good rest and we're ready to make way for the rest of our journey. about Chester is you can see behind me there's a lot of cobbled streets and a lot of the Roman architecture and the architecture through the histories has been preserved and restored which means that you can have some beautiful quaint little tea shops or restaurants which are built into the old city. It's also a walled city so you do have the Roman walls that you can walk around. There is a weir, there is a fantastic park and lots of communal spaces um, which you can use to congregate and meet up with friends. Outside, but unfortunately what's happened is it started to rain which is understandably why people do sometimes choose to go away because they can actually predict the weather to some extent but that doesn't stop me from appreciating how wonderful Chester is not only is it historical and it preserves and restores its history but it is also hugely progressive and forward-thinking it has already banned the use of single-use plastics in the town and also Chester Zoo is massive in pioneering the use of sustainable palm oil not only that, but they've just planted super trees. And what this is, is very similar to uh, Singapore's botanical gardens. These trees form the focal point of a community space just by the bus station, which people can enjoy when the weather's a little bit nicer. And it's a lovely place for wildlife. But also the theater is a fantastic multi-purpose building. Not only is it used as a theater, but it can be used as a cinema, as a restaurant, as a place for people to just um, do community events and it's also a library and because it's part of the theatre it's one of the longest opening hours libraries around. We've had a fantastic time away. The thing that I've learned about staycations is why not optimise your time? 
Not only did we visit somewhere that we hadn't been for a very long time, but we spent it with people that we loved. So we were able to not only learn a lot about the city that they were so passionate about, but we got to have that quality time with people we don't often get to see.